Cotton Buffaloes. Uh, Wood River Rural High School Gymnasium as we get ready to jump at the center of court. Get focused up here, ready to roll. We got the monitor on, ready to roll. Jumping will be number 25, Matthew Wiseman of Gibbon against Scott Frost of Wood River as we get ready to go. Here's the jump. She's underway and the Eagles of Wood River with a basketball. Pitts over to Parlin on free throw line or at the top of the corner. Over to Pitts on the baseline. Back out to Engelkirk. Three point shot is up and no good, but right there's Parlin to put it up and good. So Lance Parlin for Wood River scores. 7.42 to go. It's two to nothing. Wood River over Gibbon Buffaloes. Gibbon brings it up court. Matthew Wiseman hands it over to or Wiseman 25 shoots an eight footer. It's up. No good. Second try is good. Tied up 2 2. 7.24 to go. Wood River basketball. Parlin brings it up for Wood River Eagles. Hoping to increase their winning record as they get prepared for Lou Platt coming from outside. Top of the key by Pitts. No good. Rebound by Wiseman, I believe, or Gibbon. 7.10 to go. First quarter. Tied 2 all. As Eagles of Wood River against Gibbon. Shot from outside, eight foot good by 21, Trent Morgan. 6.57 to go, and it's given 4-2 as Parlin brings it up for the Eagles of Wood River. Trying to set up the offense. Only beaten three times. Pitts, a three-point shot is good. 6.45 to go, and tie, or five to four, the Eagles by one. The Buffaloes with the basketball and a little bit of full court pressure here as they try to set up their offense. Okay, on top of the keys, 35, Chris Van Meter. As he's trying to shoot, he can't down on the baseline. 25 is up and in and out, no good. But 21 gets a rebound, puts it up, and fouled in the act. We'll wait and see how they call it. Morgan, number 21, have to wait and see here. Play Engelkirk or Wood River committed his first foul. First team foul for Wood River, 6-17 to go in the first quarter, inbound. Given Buffalo, though they set up the offense. Van Meter is number 35, number 23 is Ferris. And of course, 25 is Wiseman. Throw it away, Wood River basketball. So a 6 3 to go in the first quarter. Wood River has the opportunity to increase the lead. They got a 5 4 lead right now. As instructions are being fed to the, by the coach. As Frost from outside, it's good by a six foot shot. So it's seven to four, Wood River, 5.50 to go, first quarter. Number 21's in there for the Buffaloes. Morgan brings it up court over to, oops, stolen away by Frost. Back over to Pitts as they set up the offense. Pitts, top of the key to Parlin. Parlin a three point shot, up no good. Fight for the rebound, Parlin gets his own rebound. Back to Steve Frost over to Engelkirk. Engelkirk tries, he can't do it. Back out on top, Scott Frost, Wood River. 5.21 to go, first period, 7-4, Wood River, Engelkirk with the basketball, trying to keep hanging on to it. Back over to underneath the Parlin, but it was deflected out, and no good, given basketball. So the Buffaloes with 5.14 to go, trailing by a three. With the ball, as we go to the our left. As they pretty well break the press, successfully from outside, the shot, Three, no good by 23. Engelkirk comes up with a basketball for Wood River. Five minutes to go. Long pass down court to Pitts. An easy two-pointer, and it don't go down. Rebound by the Buffs. And there's Richardson rebound at number 43. Outside shot is up, way off, no good. Wood River comes up with a basketball. Frost gives it to Parlin. 4.41 to go, first quarter. And Eagles got a seven to four lead at this point in time. Okay. Engelkirk, top of the key, feeds it, give and go to Parlin, it's good, count! So for the Eagles of Wood River, it's gotta be a plus. Parlin underneath the basket, put her up, and he's fouled in the act, so he'll be at the free throw line shooting the bonus. And there's 4.30 to go in the first quarter, it's nine to four. Short, rebound given, but Engelkirk over his back, commits the foul, 4.29 to go. Second team foul, they haven't got it posted yet, but that's what it'll be, as the Buffalo will inbound it, Morgan will inbound for the Buffaloes. 
flag of meter number 35 will be expected to get the ball to bring it up court under a little bit of pressure, half court somewhat. Okay, Buffalo's with the ball and almost a scramble with the ball, and it's going to be a toss up. All in possession, given Buffalo on the all in possession rule. Next time it'll be Wood River's shot at the basketball. Okay, the Buffalo's set up the offense. Four minutes, 17 seconds to go. Underneath, almost thrown away. Shot from outside. It's no good. Rebound Buffalo's up again, and it's good. I think Jurgen put that in. 3.59 to go. Farland with the basketball. 9 to 6, and the Eagles ahead by 3. 3.54. Pitts with the ball over to Farland. Fakes give a go underneath the basket, puts it up. Good. A beautiful play there by Farland. 3.44 to go. It's 11 to 6. Uh, the Buffaloes trying to get back in this ball game, trailing by five. From outside, number 35 is up, no good, and whatever comes up with a Zavala. Robbie Zavala comes up with a basketball for the Eagles. 3.26 to go, first quarter, 11-5, 11-6. Okay, as Scott Frost tries to drive, he's going to drive the baseline, but knocks it out of bounds. Couldn't hang on. So with 317 to go. The Eagles of Wood River on defense. And we get back in the game. Stolen away, but not quite. Okay, Parlin comes up with a 311 to go. Give and go to Pitts. Pitts outside a bang board there. Two out of bounds. Okay, whatever on defense. Give it on offense. Three minutes, eight seconds to go. First quarter. The Eagles are hanging on to a 11 to 6 lead and uh, Long fast down court, faking goes, shoots, number 33 shoots way off. Scott Frost comes up with the basketball, long pass, partner at midcourt. Over to Steve Frost under the basket, but we got a whistle and traveling on Steve Frost, Wood River. So the turnover commits with 2.56 to go, and Wood River hanging on to 11 6 lead. As they get ready, you know. 2 2 1 uh, full court press here. As they given successfully breaks it. Number 25 puts it to the hoop. No good. Whatever comes up with it. 2.43 to go. Cross over to Parlin. Eagles with the basketball and the lead. Frost. Back over to Parlin. Back out to Pitts, top of the key, over to Parlin. Underneath, but he don't get it. Frost from outside, an eight-foot shot. It's up, no good, rebound given. There's number 33, Aaron on eight, comes up with a basketball, 2-11 to go, first quarter. 11-6 as the Eagles of Wood River. Kind of got into a cold spell. Shots up and good, and fouled in the act by, I believe, Parlin. Parlin, he got his first free throw, third team foul, the shot's up and good. 51, Jurgens. so whatever the basketball's. Jason Rill's in there. Okay, Robbie Zavala about a six free throw line, made it. So the minute 41 to go, Robbie Zavala connects on two, makes a 13 to nine ball game. As Eagles of Wood River, setting up the offense, outside shot of Buffalo's no good, but right in there is Jurgens, it's good. With a minute 27 to go, it's 13 to 11, a two point game for Eagles. In case you're wondering, I can't see what I'm doing up here because my monitor went dead. So Pitts from the outside is up. No good. Rebound by Rill. So Jason Rill comes up with the basketball. Almost thrown away. They're going to fight over it. Parlin. Back over to Pitts. Inside to Scott Frost. He shoots an eight-foot shot. No good. Rebound by, well, nobody. Zavala comes up. Nope. Rill back to Pitts. As their match come from outside by Parlin. No good. Given basketball. 53 seconds first period. 13-11 to score. And the Buffalo's on the attack. As we go to our left from outside at number 21, boom, three-pointer. 
Trim Morgan for Buffalo put them in the lead for the first time with 40 seconds to go. First quarter, 14 13. The Buffalo the head of Wood River. Pitts with the basketball on the far side over to Parlin. Back over to Pitts on the far side. Back over to Parlin. As Eagles. Parlin drives the lane. He puts it up, but traveling to call. So the Buffaloes get the ball back in the lead by one with 24 seconds in the first quarter. Unfortunately, I hope you guys can see it out there because I can't see nothing here. Let's hope that it's working. Now we got another evidently out of bounds. So, well, it's the winner's advantage at least the white get the ball. Okay, there's 14 seconds to go, first quarter. Six seconds. Parlin with the ball. And that's going to be about it. Frost drives with the hoop. Not in time. So after one period here at the Wood River Rural High School Gymnasium, you've got given ahead 14-13. Wood over the basketball. Back over to Pitts. Frost from about eight foot out. No good. Rebound by who? The uh, Derek Jurgens or Gibbon committed a body foul. Each team, well, Woodover's got three and Gibbons got two. And it's Woodover's ball in and Pitts on the baseline. Back out to Parlin. Parlin fakes a little bit. Can't do it. Goes back out on top. As on the baseline. Back out to Engelkirk. Inside to Scott Frost, back out to Engelkirk at the free throw line. He shoots a new, an easy shot. It goes at no good. And now we got a foul on Scott Frost underneath the basket on the rebound by Jurgens. So, 7.28 to go, and it's the Eagles by one, 14-13. Okay, and they're kind of a full court pressure here on a 2-2-1, whatever full court press. Underneath the shot is up and no good. Whatever Frost comes up with a 7.17 to go. 14.30 stolen away by the Buffaloes. Number 35, Van Meter comes alive from outside and it's good. So Van Meter puts that in with 7.06 to go and the uh, Buffaloes, believe it or not, have got a three point lead over the Eagles of Wood River. 16.13, Frost on the baseline. Inside the pits on the outside of pits. It's no good, he's not able to hit the night. Buffalo's come up with a basketball. Uh, Jurgens, 6.48 to go at 16.13. As Wood River on defense. And the Buffalo's come here for the upset. That's what I say at a loop lot tournament's going to be interesting. The shot by, oop, traveling as a call on Jurgens. He tried to go to the hoop, unable. 6.32 to go, and Wood River. Gets the opportunity here to get back in the game as Parlin brings it up for the Eagles. Back over to Frost underneath the pits. Pits about a 10 foot shot. It's no good. Buffalo's come up with it. Whatever's only getting one shot right now. A 6.19 to go for halftime. Trailing by three outside shot is up and good. Believe it or not, Chris Van Meter can that baby from outside a three pointer. 18-13 to score and Frost underneath up good. Scott Frost, a two-foot shot, good. 6.05 to go. 15-18, the Eagles down by three with Buffalo with the basketball. As they're trying successfully here to stop them and they cannot do it. From outside, number 35 is good. No problem there whatsoever by Chris Van Meter. He can that baby like it was a home run. 5.45 to go and it's a 15-20 lead for Buffalo. Whatever the basketball. Give and go and stolen away by the Buffs. My Jurgens, he took it away. As Gibbons hot from the outside, it's up, no good. Frost comes up with the basketball. Scott Frost over to Pitts, 526 to go, 20 to 15 to score. So Pitts sets it up for Wood River. Trailing by 520 to 15. Kind of a 1-3-1 one, one offense here apparently. As they're trying to set up their play, Daniel Kirk on the baseline, he's gonna try to shoot. Can't do it, over to Pitzel by himself, a three-point range, good! 5.04 to go, and now it's 20 to 18, and Buffalo's by two, and the Buffalo's with a basketball. Parlin tries to guard, can't do it. As Gibbon with the ball. Trying to set up their offense. Underneath, 
He fakes it out, he can't do it, but it's up by Jurgen, and he's fouled. We'll have to wait and see what they call it. Second foul, Woodrivers. Well, we got too many fouls, I can tell you that. 4.47 to go at the free throw line. That shot is up, way short. Tried to get his own rebound, which unsuccessful. On a free throw shot, it's kind of hard to do. Yeah, I know, okay. 4.47 to go, and a two-point lead by the Buffaloes, and their chances to increase it are getting slimmer unless he makes it. No good. Parlin, I believe, is going to get the ball for the Eagles. Right in front of the coach. 4.42 to go, and it's two-point lead for the Buffaloes. Frost brings it up to Parlin on top of the key. Trying to set up the Wood River offense on a... Get a play designed here for Frost to go to the hoop and wait and see. Body contact underneath there, so we'll wait and see how they're going to call it. It definitely blew the whistle. Getting foul. They only have three fouls, believe it or not. Pitts inbounds the play to Frost. Steve Frost back out to Parlin over the... Knocked away by the Buffaloes. And Van Meter got a little defensive. So whatever we'll try again, they inbound it. Robbie Zavala comes in for whatever. Parlin goes out. 4.28 to go, and it's whatever trailing by two. And the opportunity to go ahead if they can get a three-point shot. Par or Engelkirk gives it to Zavala. Trying to find somebody to give and go to. to got Pitts on top of the key. And they set up the offense here. 4.17 to go before halftime, and Engelkirk with the ball over to Pitts. Pitts trying to set up to Steve Frost, top of the key, back over to Engelkirk. Engelkirk tries to drive, but he has to wait and see. I think 21 of Buffalo's. Morgan committed the foul. But I got it. Number 21 is old Trent Morgan. His first foul of the game, and Zavala with the ball. Over to Pitts, 404 to go. Steve Frost from underneath to Scott Frost. Good! Four minutes exactly as the clock running at Wood River. They gave the wrong score to the wrong people. It should be tied. Okay, it's tied up, 2020. Had me kind of concerned there for a while. I didn't know if it was gonna be on which side here. Okay, 343 to go. 43 of the buffs, no good. Zavala comes up with it, he's hammered. I believe he's gonna be number 43. Richardson committed the foul, looks like. Number 15, Robbie Zavala will be at the free throw line shooting the bonus, 338 to go. And he's short, rebound by the Buffs. And it's tied up 20 to 20. As they bring it in the court, it's up and no good. Rebound by Engelkirk of Wood River. And Wood River comes up with the offensive, defensive rebound They start their offensive drive. Scott Frost fakes underneath, he puts it up, but we got, uh, I think he's on the line. No foul call, I think he hit the purple and white stripes as a result. 3.15 to go. We still got a tie game. A long pass down court. Uh, given he shoots from outside. It's up no good. Rebound by Frost and Zavala over to Engelkirk at the halfway court over to Frost. Scott Frost, he's going to hand off Steve Frost. Steve Frost shoots a four-foot shot. It's up no good. Rebound by Buffalo. And now we go to the other end of the court. As the Buffalo number 23 puts it up no good. Fight for the rebound at 25 for the Buffalo. Puts it up good. As Weisman puts it in for the Buffalo with 2.45 to go, and the Buffalo the head by two, and Wood River has got to get some offense generated here. They've only scored 20 points this half. They're definitely being slowed down on their offense. Frost back over to Steve Frost. The two Frosty boys and Zavala. He tried to shoot, he can do it. 2.26 go for second quarter. As the ball is trying to find somebody to go to, the Steve Frost over to Pitts, Engelkirk. Engelkirk gets the ball. He shoots from the free throw line. It's good. 2.16 to go. It's Wood River 22 22 tie. The Buffalo with the basketball as they inbound the court. 2.09 to go. At midcourt to Richardson, I believe, over to 21. But wait a minute. We got traveling on 21. Morgan. A turnover on the Buffalo gives Wood River Eagles the basketball with 2.03 to go. Second quarter. Pitts with the ball as they set up the offense. A minute 58 to go, Zavala with the ball. Trying to set her up. Inside the Frost, it's up good. Steve Frost connects. And now, whatever, 24-22 with a minute 45 to go, second quarter. Buffalo trying to kick it down the midcourt, kicking the ball. I don't know how they're gonna call this. 
Well, Given gets the ball out, number 21, Trent Morgan, and bounds it to Chris Van Meter, 35. As they try to get it inside, they take it back outside. A minute 31 to go. Richardson, I believe, number 43, shoots it. No good. Rebound. Well, no rebound. Wooder ball. A minute 29 to go. 24 22. The Eagles of Wood River got a two point lead and kind of a three quarter press here by the Buffaloes. Engelkirk with the ball. Over to Zavala. Far side. A minute 18 to go. As Wood River is trying us. A three point shot. Up. No good. Richardson got the free throw, but we got a whistle. Wood River committed a foul as we go to the other foul. But the problem is we got given at the free throw line and they're shooting free throws with no time running off the clock. It's good. Got it with a minute 12 on that clock before halftime and the Wood River's hanging on to a one point lead and maybe not. Yep, they are. Whatever ball knocked out of bounds by the Buffaloes, apparently by the referee's decision, which you do not disagree with. You go by the stripes, they run the game. A minute 11 to go, Pitts for the ball for Wood River. And Wood River is hanging on to a one point lead as Pitts goes across mid stripes. Hands off to Engelkirk, about a 10 foot shot, no good, rebound Zavala. Under heavy pressure, he's got to hand it off to Engelkirk. Engelkirk tries to drive inside, he can't, gives the Steve Frost. Pitts from outside, three point. In and out, no good. Richardson for the Buffaloes come up with a basketball with 46 seconds to go for halftime in a 24-23 ball game. And Wood River could or may not, depends on how Gibbon does on offense, be ahead at the half. 33 seconds to go. Buffaloes kind of spreading it out, hoping for a big shot before the quarter. That'd be a thrill for them if they can go in at halftime with a two-point lead on a three-point shot or a one-point lead on a two-point shot or even a foul. 16 seconds to go before halftime. If Richardson, an eight-foot shot. Ooh, they got a foul called. So with 11 seconds to go before halftime, Richardson will be at the free throw line shooting the bonus. And Steve Frost for Wood River commits his second foul. Short. An opportunity on the free throws up and good. Tied up 24 0, but Wood River's got 11 seconds on the clock in order to prove that different. Harlan with the basketball, six seconds. Frost, long shot, way off. Richardson with the ball, or not Richardson. Well, at halftime, we got a dead even 24 24 ball game, so I'll guarantee you it's tied up. I was going to say the momentum has changed towards Gibbon, but can't say that either. It's tied up, so it all depends on what happens. The sophomore class would like to announce that they have.
Oh, well, just, yeah, just unplug it. It's not, you can't use it anymore anyway. Why not? Replug that in. I'll go out and see if we get better reception. If I plug it directly, you'll get better reception. Will you? Well, that's, evidently, it's just box. It's doing, cutting the signal down somehow. But that's an amplifier, so it really ought to boost the signal, not cut it down. Now it'll be clear out here. Now you'll have a clear signal. If you don't have a clear signal now, then we know what you're doing. I'll wave at you. Third period's underway, given with a basketball, and it's all knotted up 24 all. Key on top of the key is Chris Van Meter. Inside to Richardson. He bounced pass inside. It's up. Good by the Buffaloes. Matt Wiseman, 7.39 to go, and they got a they haven't got it up there. They go. 26-24 game. Buffalo's ahead. As Wood River underneath the Scott Frost, back out on top of the pits. Or the Scott Frost, back to pits, deflected away by the Buffaloes. Morgan, but Wood River gets the ball in. 7.25 go, third period, Wood River trailing by two, 26-24 as Wood River has the ball. Engelkirk inbounds to Scott Frost. He tries to dribble, he shoots from free throw lines up, no good, rebound by the Buffaloes, number 35. Chris Van Meter from down on the other end of the court. Almost shoot out of bounds, saved. Shots up and in and out, no good. Give him the ball. Evidently, Steve Frost underneath the basket, knocked the ball out, and it's Wood River on defense as we start the third period. As we set her up from the outside over to 21, Morgan. Top of the key over to Morgan. Morgan tries to fake, he drives the lane. Can't do it. 35 is up, good. In and out, no good. Engelkirk for the ball, 6.52 to go, 26-24. On the baseline of Scott Frost as they try to set up the offense. Inside Steve Frost, it's good, and the basket counts, and Richardson the given fouls. 6.43 to go, it's 26-24. Buffalo, or for Wood River, Frost, he puts it in, makes Wood River head by 1, 27-26. 6.39 to go, third period. As they set up the offense from the outside, no good, rebound by, well, looks like Farland. Long pass to Pitts from down court, it's up and good. So Shane Pitts of Wood River connects. And at 6.19 to go, it's 19. 29-26, Wood River. Underneath by Richardson, it's good. The Jurgens, it's good. 6-10 to go, 29-28. As Wood River sets up the offense. 5.59 to go, third period. Frost from outside, it's up good. So Scott Frost for Wood River connects. 5.38 to go in the third period. Wood River's ahead by three, 31-28. From the outside, it's shots up and good by number 23, Ferris. And so Wood River has the opportunity here to get the lead going at 31-30, 5.28 to go. And Parlin with a basketball for Wood River. Back over to Scott Frost. Trying to eye Engelkirk on top of the key. Back over to Parlin. He can't do it. 
VJ Engelkirk with a foul call, I believe, pushing off on number 23, Dave Ferris for Buffalo. So it's 5.14 to go in the third period. Foul on the second given team foul this half. 5.14 to go. Frost from underneath is good. So Scott Frost made a real executive move there, and it's good with 5.08 to go, and whatever by three, 33-30. Okay, Buffalo with the ball from outside. The shot's up, in and out, no good. Steve Frost comes up with a basketball, 4.57 to go. Pitch from outside, it's up, no good. Engelker got the rebound, but he had a little tangled up, and couldn't hang on. So Gibbon will take over, 4.52 to go, 33-30. Morgan brings it up. Can't do nothing with it. Back inside the Jurgens, but looks like Steve Frost, a third foul. Buffalo's inbounded. Shots up, no good. Steve gets tried to get the rebound. Let's see who the foul's on. 33-30. And Number 25 for the Buffaloes, Matt Wiseman, commits first foul. Farland, kind of a fast pace there up court. 4.31 to go, third period, over to Scott Frost. Inside, but didn't get it. Deflected away by Van Meter. 4.26 to go. Pitts will inbound for Wood River. Looking for somebody to alley-oop. Can't do it this time. Back out to Rugi. Rugi's in the game now. Over to Farland, but traveling on Lance. Farland on top of the key. And so now with 4.23 to go, the Buffaloes could have an opportunity to tie it up. It's 33-30 as Buffaloes with the basketball. As they're trying to hear ice somebody in the open. Wait a minute, we got a, a down to play. As they set up their offense inside up and yeah, no good. Scott Frost comes up with it as Jurgens tried to score and almost deflected away. Four minutes, one second to go, third period. 33-30. Harlan with the ball for Wood River as they set up their offense. 356 to go. Hands over to Scott Frost. Trying to find somebody over to Pitts. Back over to Parlin. Parlin fakes. Try shoot from the corner of the free throw line. That's up, no good rebound by who? We're gonna call a foul on number 35 of Buffalo, Chris Van Meter. Close. Frost is up, in and out, no good. Tried to now loop, wouldn't go this time. 33-30. And down the other end of the court is up and good by Jurgens. So 3-3-3 three, three, three to go in the third quarter and we got a one point ball game. 33-32 to 32 as Frost over to Pitts inside the rookie the Pitts. Back out to Farlin, over to Pitts. 3.19 to go, and now we got a whistle and a foul, I believe. Not for sure, we'll have to wait and see how they call it. Throw line for Wood River shooting the bonus. It's up, no good, rebound by Gibbon. Morgan brings it up court for the Buffaloes, and they're down by a point, 33-32. Stolen away by Parlin. Parlin's gonna drive to the hoop and he gets hammered in the act by the Buffalo Morgan. So with 2.59 to go, another violation. The line shooting the bonus, the shot's up, no good. Second foul on Gibbons Morgan. 2.59 showing on the clock, third period. Wood River by one, an opportunity for Parlin to give him a two point lead if he can put it in. It's no good, rebound by Gibbon Richardson. So we go to the other end of the court and the Buffaloes have given, hoping for a, I don't know if you call it an upset or not, I would, but one of Gibbons, not sure what their record is. From outside, it's short, rebound by Engelkirk of Wood River. Wood River's only been beaten, I believe, three times so far this year. Parlin from outside, it's good. A three-pointer. That has to be a boost. 2.31 to go in the third period. A three-point play by Parlin from the outside. So 36-32. As the Buffaloes trying to break the press as they put her up, and it's good. As Trent Morgan connects with 2.16 to go, 36-34. The Wood River by two. And Parlin tells them the place. 
So now they're making the movement. Steve Frost over to Parlin from the baseline. No good this time. Rebound by the Buffaloes. Number 25, Wiseman. So we go to the other end of the court with a minute 55 to go. And Buffaloes. From outside, it's good. A three-pointer by Morgan. A minute 43 to go, and you cannot believe this, but Wood River's behind by one, 37-36. Frost for the basketball. Over to Engelkirk as Wood River sets up the offense. They definitely got to get back in the game. Engelkirk on the baseline. Back over to Pitts, three-point range, but Pitts, good. It cut the net, and it's Wood River, 39-37 with a minute 16 to go, third period. Full court pressure by the Eagles of Wood River, I think like a 2-2-1. Two, two, Richardson for the Buffaloes, trying to find somebody to eye. He eyes the guy in the corner, Ferris. Outside shot this time is good, a three-pointer by the Buffaloes. So they prove they can do it with 55 seconds to go third period. Buffaloes by one, 40-39, and Frost drives the hoop, it's good. And Scott Frost come right back, 41-40. 44 seconds to go, third period. From outside, uh, no good. Rebound by Buffaloes. Back out on top. Try to shoot her up, good. And old Trent Morgan, number 21, is hot. 27 seconds to go. And the Buffaloes 42 to 41 lead. As Parlin sets up the offense for the Eagles. 14 seconds to go in the third period. Engelkirk over to Pitts from outside. Good! A three-pointer. 44-42 is the score, and that's going to be the end of the quarter. Almost made it. So after three periods here at Wood River Rural High School, it's Wood River 44-42 over the Gibbon Buffalo that we go to the fourth and final, possibly final period. Ready to go for the final eight minutes at Wood River. Really, there's not a whole lot riding on this game other than the fact that it's pride because it doesn't appear Wood River can win the regular season unless a lot of upsets happen. In any event, it's going to make a lot of change on whether we'll have a chance at the Lupi Tournament. It, we certainly can't afford to lose any games if we want to look good because our strength is unknown yet. They haven't showed too much for weakness, but they are a good team. Okay, Pitts with the basketball. Inbounds to Steve Frost on the baseline. 7.51 to go. Fourth period. Whatever by two, and Parlin with the basketball to Pitts. And they're trying to set up the offense. Back over to Parlin. Dribbles the top of the key. 7.37 to go in the fourth period. Engelkirk from the baseline, but he over to Frost, back to Engelkirk. Engelkirk from the baseline, it's up, in and out, no good. Rebound by Steve Frost, right back up and in. So Steve Frost connects, and 7.20 to go. The Buffaloes with the basketball, trailing by a 46-42 score with 7.14. As Gibbon trying to eye the rim. 7.04 to go, whoop, we got Traveling on the Buffaloes, so with 7.02 to go, 46-42, Eagles ball, and Engel Kirk will inbound to Parlin. As Parlin sets up the offensive play, giving kind of a press here somewhat over to Pitts. As Wood River kind of patient offense, they call it, by Engel Kirk, back to Steve Frost, 6.44 to go, over to Parlin on top of the key. Back over to Scott Frost. Still can't do nothing. Back to Pitts. Over to Parlin. Inside to Steve Frost. He can't do it. Back out on the Parlin and from the base. No good. Looks like it's out on Wood River. They're going to say given ball. 626 to go. Third period. Wood River by a fourth. 46 42. Gibbon inbounds the play. Van Meter trying to bring it up court. Hands off. Back to 25, he can't quite handle the pressure either, so they're gonna set up their offense. 
6-12 to go in the basketball game, and it's 46-42. From outside, a three-pointer, it's good by Wiseman, Matt Wiseman, and I'll tell you what, them three-pointers can sure make a difference in the ball game with Pitts for the basketball for Wood River. Trying to set up their patient at offense so far with 6 5.51 to go. Parlin from underneath, good. So Lance Parlin connects with 5.46 to go. It's 48-44. Buffalo's on the attack. Kind of speeding it up a little bit here. Trying to get back in the game. Inside of Rich, or uh, not Rich, and Jurgens. Good. 5.31 to go. 48-46. Long pass down to Frost over to Engelkirk at the free throw line. It's no good, but Steve's right there to put it back up and in. Good. 5.20 to go, and it's 50 to 46, and timeout called. So, with timeout called, 5.17 to go in the basketball game, unless we have overtime, and in any event, Wood River's hanging on to a four-point lead at, half to, at the timeout. Wood River. 5.14 to go. The Buffaloes on the attack. Trying to get back in the game from outside. It's up short. No good. Rebound by Scott Frost. But Trim Morgan had something to say about it, and he deflected it out of bounds. So whatever keeps the basketball with 5.03 to go. Fourth period. Harlan brings it up court. Hands off to Engelkirk. Top of the key, a three-point shot. It's up good. Nope, 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 not good. Rebound by the Buffaloes. 4.50 to go, 50-46. From outside, it's up. No good. Rebound by Scott Frost to Pitts. Pitts down court to Scott Frost. It's up good. So it went from Steve to Pitts to Scott Frost, and it's good. 4.32 to go, 52-46. And Wood River... Shot from outside is up, no good. Rebound by Gibbon. Second shot's up, good. Drip the net on Matt Wiseman's shot. 4.18 to go, 52-49. So I'll tell you what, if this Gibbon team shows Wood River any indication what the Loop Black Conference is going to be like, we've got one more team to add to the tournament. I thought on the boys' side you had St. Paul, Adams Central, Wood River, and... Centura, now you got given too. So we got a timeout here with 409 to go. 52-49, Wood River by a few. So with 409 to go in this game, it's 52 to 49, and the Buffaloes with a basketball. As they are trying successfully to upset us. Morgan. The shot is up. No good. Rebound by Scott Frost as Matt Wiseman tried to prove a difference. Now we got a hammer foul. Pitts, I believe, will be at the free throw line as Morgan made body contact with 3.47 to go in the game. So that's the third foul on the Buffaloes, or on him anyway. So at the free throw line, shooting the bonus will be probably the best and good. Second shot's up and good. 3.47 to go, 54-49, and Buffalo with a basketball. 3.40 to go. Shot from the baseline's no good, but given retained possession. So it appears the five-point ball game here is not really too good a looking right now. Farland tried to save it for Wood River, but Richardson was right there to take over. So from outside, it's up and no good. Scott Frost got the rebound. I believe 23 of the Buffaloes come on to go in the game. It appears as though Scott Frost will be at the free throw line shooting the bonus. It's good. So he'll get another try at it with 321 to go. Good. 321 to go at 56. 49. If we'd ever get three or more points, it'll be a 10 point lead. But things can happen if Gibbon gets hot on three point shots. As the Buffalo's trying to shoot from the outside, it's good. Van Meter puts Gibbon on the board 56 52. Whatever head by four. Three minutes to go in the game. Harlan at the mid stripes. 
Almost stolen away. Engelkirk's height out, dominated. Now we got Crowley on Scott Frost. So with 2.51 on the clock, it's 56-52. And given with a basketball as they set up the offense. Van Meter banks it back over to Morgan. So 2.44 to go. A three-point shot here could be very hazardous to Woodward's health. A two-point shot is up, no good. Rebound by Scott Frost, kind of a big play there. 2.29 to go as it looks like Wood River is gonna pull this one out just on this good effort defensively. Frost, Steve Frost with the ball. Back over to Farland. 2.18 to go. 56 to 52. Wood River by four, Pitts with the ball. As they try and set up the offense. From outside, Pitts, no good. Rebound by Scott Frost, right back up in. Two old minute, two minutes exactly to go. So Scott Frost gets the rebound, puts it back up and in, 58 to 52. Given says, we've had enough of this. Timeout, so with a minute 54 to go. A minute 54 to go, 58, 52. Given with a basketball and you can almost bet they're gonna have three point on their ideas. Stolen away by Wood River. Engelker comes up with the ball to Pitts. A minute 42 to go, 58-52. So, whatever on the attack, Scott Frost back over to Harlan, top of the key over to Pitts. A minute 30 to go in the game, and Wood River is hanging on to a six-point advantage right now. Back over to Engelker to Pitts. He's trying to find somebody over to Frost on the baseline. Frost drives a hoop, but body contact. Wait and see what they call it. Game that exactly what happened. There's no indication on the scoreboard as to what happened, so the shot is up and no good. Wood River gets the ball. A minute five to go, and Wood River appears. 58 to 52 leads. Gonna pull her out. Bar any uh, possible things by the Buffaloes on six points. Okay, the foul's call. Looks like Portland beat the free throw line at this point in time. We'll wait and see how they end the line shooting the bonus. It's good. You know, getting a try at it with 53 seconds to go, and it's 59 to 52. The shot's up and good. 53 seconds. 60 to 52, and I believe in my own mind, I think the game's history. Timeout. Okay, 46 seconds to go in this game. It's fourth period. 60 to 52 the score on the board. And the Buffalo with the ball. With a chance to possibly get in the game. The shot from the outside is up and no good. Rebound by Wood River. Harlan over to Pitts. Half a minute to go. And you can bet from here on out there's gonna be a lot of fouls. His rim, it's up. No good this time, so I better be quiet here. I'm really surprised. But I think the game is pretty well out of reach, 20 seconds to go in the game. Whatever comes up with the basketball, over to Pitts. And it looks like they're gonna have to foul him if they wanna get in the game. Cause he's gonna hang on with nine seconds, seven. Frost underneath, good, foul in the act. I did not catch that. Boy, they caught me sleeping on that one. But anyway, with five seconds to go in the game, that definitely, that iced it. Whatever by 10, 62 to 52, and Steve Frost at the free throw line shooting the bonus. It's no good, rebound by the Buffaloes. A long shot from the outside, no good with, well, there's one second. I'm not too sure what happened here. Anyway, there's one second left on the clock and it's history. Well, there you have it from Woodriver Rule. It's 62 to 52. Woodriver over Buffalo. So Woodriver's only been beaten three times. And so long from Woodriver Rule.